Welcome to the Elegate Adventure Saga. <laughs> now we always see if it crashes. We'll see. Um, I'm no longer echoey, right? Correct. Perfect. Right. So this is episode 23, labeled uh, Jiminy Cricket. For obvious reasons. All right, so when you guys were last here, um, we can do, this will be really fast. You fought more hobgoblins, right? Um, uh, Skylar had popped into a room um, and gotten lucky because he didn't surprise um, a couple of hobgoblins and a Grick. Um, your math tells you that at least the two that he spotted um, have made their way into your world and uh, then out of your world as you'd like to dispatch anyone who wakes their way into your world. Um, no signs of the Grick. Um, you guys did have your asses handed to you a bit, and um, lots of blood was spilt. Um, not just the hobgoblins, but also you guys. Um, you blocked the doors that led to both the shrine and to where um, uh, where Skylar, I have to use his real name, uh, where Skylar found the Grick. Um, those two rooms, you know, are connected by a curtain. Um, you've locked the door in the sort of the barracks room that you're in. Um, the only sort of light coming in is through an arrow slit, uh, but you are otherwise um, ready to hunker down for the night. And let me should reshare the map because it only looks like two of you are seeing it. All right. I see it. So any questions? Did I, did I track is, that? I'm, I'm trying to remember. So if it, a long rest, ha, do we completely heal up? Yep. Is that correct? Yep. So a long rest is a complete heal. A short rest is you roll your die, <clears throat> right? So you have that. It's in the bottom of your character sheet in main. So however many hit die, you can roll up to during a short rest, however many you want, up to four. But once you run out of them, they're gone for the day. Right, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, a short rest does not get you any spell slots unless you're a warlock. And then uh, a long rest does get you your stuff. Basically, it's a nice reboot of your bodies. Um, when you guys were last here, um, Mr. Bing had went crazy, um, seeing everyone as an enemy running away, and then he ran back um, because he was no longer crazy. You guys, like I said, regrouped in this room. Um, we were at... You have not long rested yet. So, really, the world is your oyster. You're not in active combat. You know there's bad guys around, but, you know, you're not actively fighting anything, so... <coughs> you are allowed to long rest if you so choose. And if you so choose, I will remind you of the rules of long rest. We decided that. Yep, let's... Because right. of spells and such. Yep. We need so, a bad. So long rests happen in four-hour increments. A long rest is eight hours. You can rest longer I don't, if you wanted to learn a spell or something. Um, during a long rest, you can learn a spell from a scroll. You heal up. You get your spell slots back. But it's the rule of thumb that someone should probably stand watch in those four hour increments. So oftentimes a long rest, unless you have someone who only needs four hours for a long rest, um, oftentimes a long rest is 12 hours because it gives four, 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 right? So everyone gets their full eight hours. All right. All right. So I just need to know sort of your tactics. Your tactics. For the long rest. For the long rest. Does Fa uh, Favia, do you have any damage? I think you could look out on that, right? Fabia is extremely stuck. Yeah, she's not moving and is... Oh, I can... I don't have any damage. Yeah, you don't have damage, and I think elves only need, what, four hours? For a long rest? I didn't think elves. Yeah. I know it's shorter. They don't need to sleep. Well, she kind of doesn't need a long rest, right? No. So she could watch, um, she could stand watch for the night. Oh. 
And you don't have spell slots, right? So. Nope. Well, I do, but I haven't used any of them. I got spell slots. Oh, that's right. In 5e, everyone's a caster. So why should wizards have all the fun? All right. So um, let me do your first four hours. So, Fabia, um, during your first four hours, you hear something sort of walking by the uh, arrow slit, um, muttering and, and sort of cowering, and uh, this thing sounds like it's an awful lot of pain. And, and you recognize this as the, as the goblin that had sort of run from your battle. So it's just sort of hanging out outside. It, it doesn't actually threaten you. Um, okay. So it's your call whether or not you want to wake anybody up. If not, we're going to do the next four hours. Yeah. No. Next four hours. And as you hear the party snore and gurgle and heal, um, the sun starts to shine through the arrow slit and as morning approaches with no meaningful events to happen. So, let me long rest you. He's trying to do it. sound event, but it was a long rest. Um, ignore the consumables. I'm not enforcing that yet, but someday you can see how this will impact you. Right, you have to eat. That's really All right, so you guys should all be healed up. Um, check your spell slots to make sure that yep. they, right? Um, I offered up for anyone who wanted to learn a spell. No one took me up on it, so no spells were learned. Um, any questions or comments before you start your day afresh? I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. So um, you are in the guard barracks. Um, it has been cleared out. The door between you and the rest of the castle is locked. What say you, travelers? I can't remember if we said we were going through it or if we were just getting out of here. We have, we have the armor, right? Yes. Yeah. Is it Sildar or something? Yeah, you have you have Sildar's armor, right? Which you'll be delighted to, to have back. <clears throat> You're here, looking for the map to Wave Echo Cave, right? And R yeah. Runyon Rockseeker, um, you have been told would be here um, because you don't know where Wave Echo Cave is, right? Um, <clears throat> You could cut and run at this point, um, in which case it'll be, and which is fine, by the way. Um, it's a pretty, it'd be a pretty quick session tonight because we would need to figure out where you're going. Say so keep going. I mean, yeah, I think we could. Might as well explore it. We've come, well, we yeah. haven't really come far. Yeah, let's you take all, out the do you. take out the Grick and um, see what else Feeling. is around here. Yeah, I'm for that. Yep. All right. So let me open up the door. Oop. So you now should be able to see through the door again. Um, did someone say Tom? I'm just waiting because you always have little surprises. No. So um, <laughs> so I'll let you. So who's who's the leader again? I always forget this. At one point it was it was um, Cyrus, and then it would it become Noodle? No. <laughs> I think I'm that not. It, it, you may have been elected while you weren't here. I don't remember. Or was it fought? like who is the leader? I think it was unanimous that it's today? not Karen. What's that? What's that? Who wants, who wants to be, to be leader, leader today? today? Uh, I vote for the elf. <laughs> All right. So Fabia, you are in charge in large. Me? And, yeah, and your video is frozen, so you have this like surprise look on your face, which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, you're in charge. So what I need you to do, Fabia, I'm gonna move you into the front and sort of out the door. Um, you represent the party. Are you traveling as a group? Are you sending a scout ahead? What's your plan here? You see there's a rock in front of the door that will need to be removed if you want to go through there. Same with the room down to the south, uh, the southeast. You'll need to remove that rock. If you want to explore outside the castle and look for alternate ways around, that's a doable thing. The world is literally your oyster. We did want to face the Grick, right? Yeah. That was, that the, was plan. the plan. Yep, yep. Let's Grick it up. All yeah. right. Oh, it's Grick o'clock. <laughs> Should we try to get out and scout to see if we can hear him still back in that other room? Okay. Um, I'll go to, like, what, the dining hall one? Isn't that the one to the a little more <laughs> south? Yep. All right, so you're going to go down can, there? Per, can I perception? Yeah, you can. Or... So you're going to be there. Okay. And Fabi, are you going go. to the, the north one? Yeah. All right, so um, Fabia, you roll a perception check first. Ooh. So that is fantastic. Um, so you listen intently and sort of past the rubble, past the door, you hear absolutely nothing but silence. Wait. All right. Noodle, roll a perception check. Okay. Do I hear anything? I sucked. So you hear nothing at all. So, I mean, you hear somebody yourself, else may want to try. You know, you're thinking like I might need breakfast. You hear sort of the gurgling stomach, right? Um, but yeah, you don't hear anything. Hear uh, I mean, passive, passively, you wonder if maybe you need to move. Uh, you need to move the rocks. Yeah. And if that's the case, so, yeah, everyone sort of stack up where you want to be. I'll I'll approve your moves here. Well, I don't. I'm gonna scooch over. Over. All right. Yeah, you're in free move mode. <coughs> you're not in. No, I'm gonna right stay now. right here. I'm gonna stay right here. Can you perception? Yep, Skylar? Sky, Skylar's gonna listen. All right. Are you listening pre or post um, moving rocks? Well, we'll move the rock and then we'll uh, perceive. Okay, so you're moving the southern lock. I gotta move onto the way so I can turn off the rock. Yes, sorry. It's okay. It's okie dokie. Rock. Okay, time for. All right, you are there. Perception, please. Yeah, Skylar's like, yeah, yeah, you know, Noodle's right. There's nothing. Yeah. Just, just complete silence. We wouldn't know any different. I mean, there's Mr. Bing. If you want to give it a try, go for it. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of us actually knowing the results of those rolls. Oh, really? But. Yeah. I mean, what? Why should I know how well I'm perceiving? Ah. That's um. No, but let that's me write that as a note. We can we can discuss that later. <laughs> no no no. Yeah. So so I mean fun fact like I can either expose those or not. And initially when we were playing I had everything turned on so like it's all transparent people can learn. But as you want to make this more interesting yeah I mean like I didn't when I did the um, uh, when I did the the long rest I rolled in a dice tower so you guys couldn't see the results. Yeah that's mm. I think that's cool. Same with like stealth. That's another one that you were you probably shouldn't know. Yeah. But anyway. Right. Um Yeah, I'll 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 give it a I'll give it a listen. Um why not? Okay. Alright. 
Hold on, I'm, I'm making a note because I, I like I like that you guys are wanting to make this more interesting. Oh no, Shit. all my shortcuts went away. No, you must have updated your clients because it sucks. Okay. I am so super perceptive though. You are. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So, let's see. What what do you hear? Because you know you rolled a twenty. Um, let's see here. All right, you got very lucky. So, <clears throat> what you hear is you do hear. You aren't sure what sort sort of where in the room the Grick is, but you hear barely. Um, something breathing, right? And it sounds it sounds like it's maybe to the north, and it also sounds like maybe it's up high in the air. What the what? That's interesting. Um, oh, well, okay. Um, let's back away from the door for a second, and I'm going to talk to the group so do we want to like have a few people like try to like sneak in from the other side and so I think we're pretty sure that it's in the southern room that's what I was thinking because um, they heard nothing and that perception was pretty good yeah um, so we get like a couple of couple of ranged folks uh, to you know sneak in the other side and then have the tankity tank uh, up, up Here's close. Yeah. I could go sneak through the middle door by kicking it down, and then I think we would find <laughs> it. Wait, there's a middle door? Oh, well, I meant the, uh, down where Skylar is. Oh, oh, okay, okay cool, cool. The yeah, middle yeah. section. So that's what yeah, you're going to do. A question of if we want, uh, if we want uh, a chance to do a sneak attack or not. Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, that's good. good. If we can, if we can get it, yeah. All right. So you are going to remove the, um, you are going to remove the other boulder, correct? Yes. All right. So that boulder should be gone. We close that down. We got a couple of moves I see happening here. Let me approve them moves. All right. All right, so you guys should be back in action. So, um, are you, so I wanna make sure I've got this right. So Fabia is gonna come in from the north, right? And yeah. Skylar is gonna come in from the south. Is that correct? Or Karen. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with whatever. I'm just I want to make sure because I wasn't I wasn't yeah. really paying attention when you were scheming. I'll move gotcha. you there, Karen, because you gotta I gotta move you through a bunch of walls and stuff. I was just and gonna then, like and punch then, through them. I'm staying okay. here. You're staying here, being in the back. I'm just yeah. Okay, what about Nick? I. I'll probably stay back, but I, I'll at least go into this next, to the, to the next place. Stay, stay north. Yeah, right there. Yeah, up there. Yeah, I'll stay <laughs> back, but I'll be in this room. All right, so Fabia's at the door. So let's Wait, do I'm Fabia. I'm head up north. All right, okay. north. All right, so you got three in the bottom. You got four on top. Um, <clears throat> don't forget to spin your characters the direction you want to aim. That is, I think, shift um, mouse wheel and everyone always makes it bigger or smaller initially um, so Fabio you're going to go into you're going to go into the room um, how are you opening the door are you, are you kicking this thing in are you slowly opening it up like are you stealthing it what's going on I'm going to stealth it and Zippy's also going to be invisible alright so Zippy will be invisible where's Zippy at Invis. Invisibility. All 
Alright, so where's Zippy at? There he is. <laughs> I can't tell which direction is the right way for him. Alright, so he's invisible. I think that's right. Yeah, he's got yeah, a little he's yeah. got a little scorpion tail. Alright, so um, so you're gonna open up this door, so that's open. And down at South, Karen, are you kicking it open, opening it up casually? What's your plan? Hmm. I don't know. What do y'all think? I'm always open for. I'm always up for kicking. But. Only Noodle Only and Noodle. Skylar can weigh in on it because Karen is not near the rest of the party. That's true. Skylar, right, so go for, for it. it. All right. Yeah, Skylar. <laughs> Skylar yeah. would just say go kill. Yeah, stuff. he does. All right. So first, um, your door's open, Fabia. Um, passively, you don't see anything um, exciting. Right, it's like there's a, it's an altar. Um, I think I've given you guys this narrative, right? Um, like this chamber yeah. occupies the northern tower of the castle. Uh, sort of a stone altar stands in the middle of the room, covered in blood-stained black cloth, golden ritual implements uh, like a chalice, a knife, and other censers are carefully arranged on top of the altar. Um, and two archways to the south are sort of covered with heavy curtains. Right, and um, Skylar had described to him going through that curtain just to the south of. Um, and seeing, initially seeing a, a Grick and um, a Hobgoblin. And fun fact, that was that was uh, an unlikely thing to see because Grick's typically are very stealthy, but he happened to come in when his, his trainer was playing with him. So fun. All right. So if you want to move half your distance, you can do that with stealth without having to roll stealth. Okay. So that means you can move up to 15 feet. Yeah, it'd be cool if we could peep it before I bust down the door. It's there-ish is where you were talking about, right? The, the curtain? Yeah, it's that little black thing. Yeah. So you could move, you could technically move 5, 10 to here if you wanted to. It's your call. <laughs> sure. I'm in I, trouble, but that's fine. Well, I'm just telling you, that's where you can move. All right. So um, now, Karen, you're busting in the door, right? So it is yeah, now. It is now. Oh, move yourself move to yourself where you're going where to you're burst. Uh, we don't see it yet, right? No, you know it's in there. So you're aware of it. So it can't. It's not going to be able to surprise you. But yeah, you. It's a, a Grick can. Um, well, actually, roll roll a nature check. I don't want to give away the farm without you having to know stuff. Ooh, just just enough. So, um, these things sort of they blend in with stonework, right? Um, and typically, only when that when their prey comes around them um, do they spring out, right? But you know, he sort of knows the jig is up, right? Because there's been battles, his owner's gone, um, so potentially it's just sort of like trying to get the upper hand, but Mr. Bing um, or was it Skylar? I can't, whichever one of you, right? Um, you sussed out that the Grick was down here somewhere, so while you know, while you don't know specifically where he is as of yet, until you get in the room he does not have opportunity yet. Okay. Um But and like, just if he was, so is he stealth, or is he just like not in my line of sight yet? He's stealthy, right? So he's blending in. He's blending in with that. He's not moved yet. So until he moves, you aren't going to see him. Okay, I got you. So he could be in line of sight, and I just can't see him. Okay. Yeah, and I shared the Grick with you, just so you know what you're looking at. All right, well, uh, I don't know where to go to. Maybe I will make it up here, just to be kind of like sort of close to the... Fabia, but does your person keep moving like five feet at a time away? Yeah, I don't know what that was. Um. Uh oh. Let me try this again. So you said right here, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the hell that was. By the way, that was <laughs> bizarre. Um, face your say itself to whichever direction because that might matter. All right, I think I'm good actually. I'm gonna call uh, it like I this. 
Awesome. Are you familiar with Are you familiar with the the game Battleship? Because down from the ceiling drops a Grick, like legit right in front of you. <laughs> so, so there you go. Um, I need you all to roll for initiative. under like the main tab right yeah all right yeah you've oh, now met God's sakes. jiminy oh. gricket the grick oh, wowzers these are some <laughs> crazy rolls <laughs> yeah they are but that was right. a horrible roll yeah so you didn't surprise the grick the grick didn't surprise you um favia you are at the top of the stack um, the rest of the party <coughs> and everyone's rolled their initiative, right? I can start the round? Yes. I think so. I think so, right. yeah. Um, so the rest of the party doesn't know what you know unless you share it with them, just a reminder. Um, so you need well, to Zip strategize, right? Zippy knows what I know, right? Yeah, Zippy does. So Zippy will share that information. And we established that Zippy can communicate in common, didn't we? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, that was a big oversight when we originally had Zippy. All right. So then, so the um, so both Nick, <clears throat> excuse me, Nick and Cyrus, both know that a Grick has dropped down and where that Grick is in the room. Right. Um, Noodle and Skylar do not have that knowledge yet. Just as a heads up, I think their plan was to go in that door anyway, so it may not matter in the big scheme of things. But I just wanted to sort of call that. Okay, so there you are. Um, and the Grick is still far enough away that I can use my ranged weapon, right? It is. Um, you do not have line of sight unless you give like one more, you know, step into the room. Quite well, okay, because I can see him. Yeah, but yeah. that's you know, it's a game. Yeah, there's yeah. a wall there. <laughs> so. It might be good to come down um, below me, like where that. A golden statue is just like so the statue is. brick than you are, yeah. So like here ish? Yeah, 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 that's what I was thinking. So it so is that the path you're taking? I just wanna make sure that that's the path you're taking. Oh no. Was th I don't did I go through him? You went right next so I so my question was, were you doing this to get there? Or were you literally going like this to get there? Oh, no, no, no. I would go like the first one around, like a right. big. So you can move more what, like 30? an L. Yeah. 15. All right. And you can't get on the statue. Um, you can be adjacent to the statue. Do so you want to be in front be of it? Close. Where do you want to be? As far away from the grip as I can be and out of Karen's way. You know what right. I mean? So I can still fire an arrow. So 15 feet would be, that is about as far as you can go. And I can still fire at it, right? Yep. Yes. Now you can. Okay. Then yes, that's where I would like to go. All right. You are there. Oh. So I'm assuming you guys are done scheming and we're going to start the battle. So Fabia, you're up. Why can't I target? How I can't target. Really? They took the target buttons off the map, and it freaks me out. Like that's how I used the targets. So I don't know how to do it. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. This is this is very weird. Is this? Where'd the grit go? He's still there. He's still on the map. I see him. For me. Okay. What about now? Yeah. He's still there. Okay, hold on. Now he moved. He did, didn't he? Okay, so hold on. So his initiative was 21. I'm going to re-add him. Because I think somehow this Grick was a ghost. And now Grick. Add him to the combat tracker. Uh, 
and where is he? You're not there for me anymore. All right, well, he will be. So he's got an initiative of 21, and we're gonna put him where he's supposed to be. All right, now can you target him? Yes. Oh, the bugs. The bugs, the bugs, the bugs. <laughs> All, right. All right, I'm going to shoot an arrow at him, hopefully. All right. All right, so you hit. Ah, and you did nine damage, but it was partially resisted, which leads you to sort of like wonder about Grix. Yeah. Okay. Have we, in, in a previous session, discussed what we know about Grix? I do not recall. I don't recall that. I, I do not believe you've ever either. come across a Grix before. Didn't we kill one? I mean, when we say we, I mean, somebody else killed one already? No. No. Okay. Badly. All right. Well, we're about to find some, some things out. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you're welcome to roll a nature check, unless you already did. Someone rolled a bad one. Yeah, is it? Is it? Yeah, I rolled a, a pretty low one. Is it? Yeah. Hopefully not to, <laughs> to yell, like, anybody know anything about Griggs? <laughs> yeah. Bing, you know nothing. Um, Can I roll one? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Well, Fabio, you know enough. So... What you know about Grix, is there a big bucket of badass? Um, let's see, 14. Uh, um, you know that they're sort of resistant to bludgeoning, piercing, slashing from non-magical weapons. Um, they've oh, got some, I got you covered. We got some pretty, you know, look, I mean, they're a big, you know, like a, a, a big shell worm looking thing. So like, they've got some pretty awesome armor, so they just have some resistance there. Um, okay. You also know, uh, what did you get, 14? Um, yeah. You know that they have they have multi-attack, but you aren't sure exactly the rules behind them. Okay. And I will pass all of that information on. Alright. Whenever I can. All right. I like that we're in battle and Fabia is just like yelling out Grick facts. <laughs> and Zippy's well, yelling them out in the back. So, so, so vision he's... is motion based. <laughs> Be still. <laughs> All right. So um... he's he's resistant. He's m more resistant to like real weapons, uh, but less. Or is he more or less resistant in? Spell cast weapons? Is that what you just said? He's resistant to think of it as like sort of normal melee weapons like piercing, bludgeoning, basically Karen's right. greatest hits. Um, yep. um, so he's moving so down. He's moving down. Right? Sort of to split the distance. Um, and uh, so it's going to be aimed what? at Karen here. Um, but he missed. He missed Karen. So you do not get to experience his multi attack. So, you know, your your uh, your logic says, well, he doesn't really get that multi-attack unless he hits. But this brings Same. us to a goblin that is nowhere near you guys right now. For now. All right. And everyone's favorite clown, Zippy, who does not get to go because right. Zippy is with Fabia. Yes. Um, and that brings us down to... Payback time. Karen. All right. Now, resistance doesn't it's mean smart. immune, right? Resistance just means absorb summon. Yeah. You have a magic a weapon? Weak spot. I, I do. 
I mean, yeah, I was just, I just noticed that too. I don't know why it says I have, do I have my, you're doing I'm, not, I'm definitely, oh wait, that's a little zippy. Yeah, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> oh. I thought, I saw that, yeah, never mind. I thought I was invisible for a second. Oh, I wonder if that <laughs> spiritual weapon. Yeah. Thing that's what I'm on. That's what yeah, I was going to yeah. do. I was wondering, yeah, if there's any sort of magical weapon stuff going around. Now, 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 now to be a sort of like a picky DM, the only people that can wonder stuff and talk are Favia and Karen at this point. <laughs> all right. Because <laughs> you, you all are in the room. Well, I'm standing by Skylar, so we're kind of... Like, oh. You can talk about Skylar whatever you want. <laughs> we all Sorry. knew this was coming. Raging Gage. <laughs> <Gaging. laughs> All right. Um, you know, one more second. I'm still trying to figure out what all the all the things I want to do here. Um, all right. I guess I'll frenzy as well. You asked that like like a 13 year old 80s girl. So I'm not sure. Like your up talk was that is that a declaration or a question? <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what the implications are. So it means I will be exhausted. I think. Yeah. I one level of exhaustion. Um, okay. And now I will make attacks. I'm going to zoom in on this. This will be good. Hit with a 17. Okay. And Can you move a little bit? <laughs> Just so you guys Cliff? know, you guys got very lucky when I re-edited the Grick because it didn't add the Grick that I had created for this adventure. It was a watered-down, wimpy-ass Grick <laughs> with a third of the hit points. <laughs> so you, you all got lucky because it re-rolled re re the hit dice. So the original one I had oh. on here, you wouldn't even have put a dent in him yet. <laughs> um. Critical with two hits. What the... <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, well, he's had three, technically. True. True. Yeah, so you guys are hitting him. I'm like, why is it doing so much damage? This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> he had like 50 hit points. What the hell? <laughs> All right, Noodle. Try this. Um, I'm going to try my spiritual weapon. Okay. And... I'm you going tell. to try to summon a... I'm going to move forward. All right. Because I've got to. Where do you want to move? I can move right. you. It's easier. Like here? Right through the door. Uh-huh. That's 25. Because yeah. it's, it's... I don't have to be not on him, but I just probably should be in the room. And yeah. I think I can hit twice. Aren't you special? And it's... A, I know. A hot branding iron is what I'm going to try oh, to whack it with. Hey, you know. Um, so <laughs> I gotta... I click on him, right? Yeah, you hit control, click. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, there you go. Right. And then Let I still, try. just for good measure, I dragged the weapon on, because I found that it that always yeah. works. But... Let's try. Oh man, I I thought it was gonna be a seven. I was delighted. <laughs> so you guys see Again. this this red hot poker? Was it a poker? Yeah. A poker, sort of plunge into this grick, and you smell it smells a little bit like red lobster, shrimp, right? Like a little shrimp smell, right? Like a little shrimp Friday going on here. Um, Karen like has dreams of of like butter and lemon 
Um, go ahead and roll your damage because I'm running out of narrative. <laughs> do I get? I forgot. That I don't ever get damage. What do I do? Oh, so um, where is which one was it? Um, the spiritual weapon. Okay, hold on. Let me go to combat mode. There you go. Spiritual. So okay, see the little red box with the lightning bolt. The lightning yeah. bolt. Yeah. There's that. I that on drag, him too. Drag that on him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, perfect. Fart. Loving it. But I still get to d- it's a double attack. All right. So you did four damage. Yeah. And notice it did not resist. Oh, hey. Imagine how much more All fun right. this would have been at 50 hit points, you guys. <laughs> All right. So I get to do the whole thing again, right? Yep. If it's a double attack, I'm trusting you on that one. It is. I can actually hit either two separate things or the same, or it says two attack. So do you want to just interpret that before I roll? No, you're fine. It's the two attacks is either of the okay. same target or two different targets. Well, and you hit again. And voice. you needed a, and you needed a 17. So. Okay. Yay. Ah! So. I don't think it did. This, you know, this. This another another searing poker flies into the Grick and suddenly this thing explodes like a seafood buffet gone wrong in Vegas. Um, it's, okay, it's like I'll it's, stay it's as if someone just brought the crab sticks and you know everybody rushes the counter and all hell breaks loose. So anyway, this thing is dead. Well, yeah, that hey. seems anti freaking climactic. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so th- that's your DM or GM or whatever the hell we're called these days, owning his own mistake, right? So I forgot to. Well, ad- I think I it was a glitch in the system. Well, no, yeah, yeah, it was. It was a glitch, but it worked to your advantage because once you start battle, I'm not going to like reset the hit points. That would be wildly uncool. So, it is dead. Yay! Look at that. Oh, I better. I used a spell. I and used I'm, a two. Bring out your dead. Clearing the dead. All right, so you guys, like, the rest of your party never even made it into the room. <laughs> you guys are like, you, you're like, Noodle been like, all clear. Right? <laughs> Come and get it. This is weird. So you guys find yourself, right. you know, you guys find yourself in this uh, room. So my question is, before I go into the narrative, do you, the rest of you want to wander in there, or are you guys going to hang tight? Yeah. I, I can wander in there at least. All Maybe right. comes in. I think David would want stay to stay out there. just for just for grins. All right, you gonna be staying whenever, where you are? Whenever or? the wh- yeah, I'll stay where I am. Whenever the DM says, "Are you all gonna go into that room?" <laughs> <laughs> it, it makes me worried. <laughs> is little Zippy going in, or is, she, is Zippy staying there? Yeah, he's gonna go by me. Here, let me just. Oh, he can. Yeah. All right, um, and then Skylar. Skylar, Skylar is no annoyed way. that he didn't get to even take a hit. Yeah, you know Skylar. Yeah. We love you, Skylar. He's in Portugal. Mm-hmm. I mentioned that already. All right. So, you know, you guys now have a, a, like an opportunity to sort of check out the room. So there's this high, narrow hall. Looks as if it might have been part of a chapel or maybe a shrine at one time. There's sort of these angelic figures that are sculpted along the room's you know, upper reaches, looking down on the floor below. <coughs> um, you know, to the north, like, you see those heavy curtains uh, that Fabia came through. And, um, you know, there's a matching archway on each side. So between the archways is sort of cracked with sort of ornately carved stone brazier. Right? And that's the thing from above that is where the Grick had dropped. You also see there's a bunch of rubble off to, to the side where sort of the wall and ceilings have collapsed. And um, why don't you all, anyone in the room, so that's everyone except for Mr. Bing, um, roll a perception check. Ooh. And, Ms. and Bing, I'm really, I'm really liking this idea of you not seeing the rolls because, you know, I don't know. It just seems, it's your, it seems right, the right thing to do. Yeah, <clears throat> All right. It does to me too. So, um, you guys find a couple of things. One, 
Um, noodle, you know, Noodle, you're, you're sniffing through that brazier, and you find mm-hmm. yourself a gold statue, statuette, and it looks identical. It's in this it's sort of in this brazier. It looks identical to that sort of the fake gold uh, statue that's to the southern part of the, of the hall. Oh, right? look at this, guys. Right, and that's you know, weird. you're you know you're a dwarf, right? So you know you eyeball this. You think this is probably worth about a hundred gold pieces, right? Um, now, why would this be in a brazier? A brazier? <laughs> a brazier? <laughs> um, well, you know these goblins don't trust each other, right? So some goblin probably like was hiding it to sort of keep it for himself, right? Now, other one was nineteen. Nick. So Nick, you know, Nick is noodling around down to the south over by Fabia and discovers a secret passage through the wall. Secret because passage? Because quite honestly, the, you, there was no other way that you guys found out of that room. Right? So I mean, part of you had to be thinking, like, did we even need to kill this Grick? The answer is no, probably not. We did. But alas, oh, there yeah, you are. No, deep seated yeah. need. Now, Mr. Bing, you've already done a perception check for there. Are you heading to the east? Or are you heading south and then in with your, your party? Or are you? What are you? What are you doing? Like, what's your play here? Let's go east. I'll just walk through this room and then down. All right. Well, roll a perception check while you're in there. Sure. What? Thirteen. What did you need? Oh, you only needed an 11. You are very lucky. Um, all right. <clears throat> so what you find, because it's literally in the description on, on the altar, um, you find yourself a sensor, a chalice, and a knife. Um, I'm going to give these, Mr. Bing, to you, and then I'm going to give the other one to Noodle. And do with them what you will. If you guys want to know anything more about them, you'll need to roll religion checks. A religion check? Here, let's try it. Do it. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spotlight. (laughs) Using my religion. (laughs) All right, let me get this into your... um, Noodle, let me get this into your inventory before I give you your... Oh, I got a 20... Dang. All right, gold statue goes into noodles. It's got to weigh a lot. It's cool. Yeah, you're you're at 185 right now. All right, all right. <clears throat> okay, so let's do noodle. No, let's do the shrine first. All right, so so Cyrus, you know, you take a look at these things and. While at first they didn't seem overly exceptional, um, you know, they look like they're probably pretty valuable. These things clearly didn't belong to the goblins. They have no idea what they're for. Um, Between the three of them, you estimate those are probably about 250 gold pieces worth of of fancy stuff. Um, Let me see. Um... These, these, while not sort of coming from sort of the goblins, um, these are have been clearly used to sort of pray to some evil god. What was your role? A 13? Uh, sorry, no, you have an 18. Sorry, wrong one. Yep. Um, an 18. Uh, what else? Oops, hold on, I'm in the wrong room. There we go. So... Yeah, these look like they're they they belong to or were for worshiping Agma, and you got to take these notes if you want to keep them. Um, Agma, which is the god of knowledge, right? So these goblins had been has been sort of using these artifacts sort of against their intended use, right? So the god of knowledge is not inherently an evil evil god. So they were just sort of commandeering them for their own purposes. So I'm making a note of year stuff. And what was it that you got? You got um, a chalice. Censure, censor, and a dagger? A dagger, right? Is that right? 
Yeah. Yeah. And that was for worshiping the god um, O G H M A. Right. So you know you you know that Nick Maylock is on this quest for knowledge. Right. There's something going on with him. You don't know if these things are related, but you know you sort of file that away for later. <clears throat> Remember that storyline, you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Like a year a year ago. Uh, well, Nick's not been around enough to really un undo too much of it. So, um, okay. So Noodle, you rolled for yours as well, right? Yeah, I got a twenty-one. You got a twenty? Oh yeah, you did get twenty-one. So th your statue actually is um, uh, is for worshiping uh, Timora, which is the goddess of luck. Of luck. Of luck. And yeah, and what this means is um, give yourself an inspiration point. Ooh. And this is All Noodle. Right. And that inspiration point can be used to re roll a crappy roll whenever you see fit. But you can use it once. And then it's still worth the gold, but the luck has been exhausted. Okay. Do I need to know this lady's name? What's, how do you spell it? Um, yeah, you can write it down. It's always good to take notes. Um, uh, Timora, so T-Y-M-O-R-A, which is the goddess of luck. Okay. So, you know, independently, you guys have sort of pieced together that like these goblins didn't belong here. This, this was obviously a human castle. Humans made this place. These are their gods, right? Um, no idea what happened to them, but um, you know, something has went horribly wrong. So there you are. Mark, if you want to join the rest of them, you're welcome to do so if you want to hang back. Um, I believe, Fabia, you are the leader, so decide what you want to do next. I mean, you guys can scheme on it. Like, it's not... Uh... Secret passage? Yeah, I, I think we should go there. You, you got Secret it. passage. <laughs> you, you, you got it, do you? All right, so Fabia, move into where you want to be. Do we hear anything going on over there or anything? Well, you haven't asked that question <laughs> until just now, so. You just did. <laughs> right. Um, let's see, so where are we? Well, let me get, Do you let me, need to turn the ice maker on? Hold on, you guys. I'm getting I'm getting my narratives all straightened out. All right. Um, so, Fadia, what you can see now that you've opened this up, um, without this is just without um, any need for rolling perception yet. You see straight in front of you a door that leads to something. Um, to the south, just sort of down to the south, um, you see rubble and more rubble, and that rubble is sort of connected with a curtain. Um, and you see sort of uh, mirroring that to the north, some rubble connected to the wall sort of being obscured with a curtain. So these goblins are big fans of these heavy black curtains um, as doors. That's what you see. Um, if you want anything else, you need to move into the area and then roll a perception check. Okay, I'll move in a little bit and roll a perception check. All right, are you, I mean, are you doing this with stealth? Because you're only going half your distance? Yeah. All right. Yes. You're welcome. That's the only gimme. Um, all right, and did you really walk in backwards like that or did you want to spin your character appropriately? <laughs> No, I want to spin her around. Fabia likes to sneak into every room backwards. <laughs> Skills you know, with a Z. If I can't see them, they can't see me. Exactly. And you know, exactly. I go back and, and watch and watch these episodes and cringe at how often I laugh at my own jokes. So don't don't stand for that, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So Fabia is now sideways, aimed at the rubble, and um. So what you see is what you see. Roll it. We're going to roll a perception check, and and you're the only one in the area, right? So. Yeah. Right. Oh, crap. I have two. Perception, like the short tabs, and I don't remember who which side was mine and which side was the base. Uh, you can re you can actually right click and rename those tabs. So whatever you've drugged down there, you can actually rename them. Oh, I did not. 
Yeah. I didn't do well, but... Um, well enough. I mean, so what you hear is off to the east. Um, you hear just some muttering of, of what sounds like, you know there'd be more. A couple of hobgoblins, right? You, sort of, you can pick up on sort of their hobgoblin accents. <clears throat> uh, down to the south, um, you, uh, that curtain is sort of, sort of, you can see the breeze blowing it, so it leads you to believe that something down that way leads to the outside because it's sort of like waffling a little bit, um, but you don't hear anything substantial other than that. Um, off to the north, you don't really hear anything with that roll. Okay. So, you know, that room is, is at least for the moment, somewhat safe. Zippy will share that information with everybody. Uh-huh. So, so you all you all know that. Where do we want to go? Oh. Um. Uh, we. Oh, I don't know. Let's do the curtains. We don't know. No. North. We don't know. It's like Monty Hall. We man. don't. Really you got to choose a curtain to know. Do it. Oh, it's like I made a Monty Hall reference, you guys. Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's a deep pull. You're you're old. <laughs> I am old. <laughs> We're <laughs> Yeah, Michelle reminds me of that all the time. I am very old. My beard Shoot. gives it away, but so does yours, Mark. So and so does yours, oh, yeah. Cliff. And so will yours, Morgan. <laughs> One day. <laughs> One day. Um. I don't know. I kind of want to peek into one of the curtains. Want me to? All right. Which curtain are you going to go to? And I'll, I I'll move you over. Well, first, you have to get in the room. You want to go towards the north or the south? N a north is, is going to be bad, but that's north where I want to go. All right. North. Let you me are turn because we got a DM that is all. Anal retentive, yeah. Um, can I perceive right now? You sure I mean, can. it's only a curtain. It's only a curtain. I, I would like to do that. Can I do it? You can. I'm gonna. Twenty. Nice. Holy smokes! I know. Um. So. You hear nothing. Guys, I hear nothing. It, sound, it, it seems safe. As a matter of fact, you're brave enough. To sort of like, I'll even give you with that twenty-three. Um, I'll let you pull the curtain to the side a little bit and have a peek. And, you know, what you see is like, this was this was like an old ruined tower and it's been almost completely collapsed. I mean, all the ground on the floor has still a little open space. There's rotting crates and ancient barrows that, you know, show provisions were probably once stored there. Uh, there's sort of that heavy curtain that you're just talking about sort of blocks sort of the crumbling area that you're in that's to the south. And an intact door sort of leads off to the east, you see, just to the right. Um, you don't hear anything coming through that specific door. Hey, I just relayed that message. So there you go. Do now you, you know what's north. And I get to open up that curtain for you. Hey. It's rubble. <laughs> old rubble. Oh, good old Barney. Hey, guys. What now? <laughs> Barney rubble. You're lucky, because I made my other team <laughs> battle all of the Flintstones, including Anne Margrock. So. <laughs> and, Anne Margrock is my favorite. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> Although Lola Brigida was pretty good too, because your food, I dig it. <laughs> and Grok Hudstone. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so oh, yeah. um, pick up the pace here, you guys. You're boring me. What's going on here? What's uh, the Zip south? I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, Zippy's still invisible, so he'll go and look and listen to the southern curtain. All right. So Zippy goes down. Boom. And I'm assuming spins? Yes. Ah, I'm spinning poorly. So it's more like a twirl. Yeah. <laughs> so Zippy spins out of control and flies into this, like, torch that's on the wall. And now Zippy's now gone. 
<laughs> nope. You're funny. All right, so roll a uh, roll a perception for me. Uh, nice and solid. Um, yeah. So doesn't hear anything beyond you know from coming from the curtain. Doesn't hear anything of interest. Um, it seems safe. Um, you want him to, you want him to pull aside the curtain and peek? Sure. All right. Well, you're lucky. There was no reason to roll anything because there's nothing there. So as Zippy sort of peeks through, um, he sees, you know, he sees this passage sort of leaves, leaves down to the south. And sort of there's this open door um, that sort of leads into this, this walkway, right? And sort of his mental, the mental gymnastics, you know, lead him to wonder if maybe this was an alternate entrance to the cave. Okay. I'll share all that. I consider it shared. Well, he's sharing it with you. There's no one else, I guess, in the room with you guys. <laughs> so yeah, you, you know that. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you. Allergies in, in California right now are just unbelievable. In a bad way. It's 109 here, so. Well, it's 92 here, and I am in my garage. Okay. Like a true D&D &D nerd. Computer okay. actually says it's 111, so it's getting hotter. Yes. All right. Um, so, Thanks. what's the rest of y'all doing? So, you, so to the north is clear. To the south is clear. To the east, there seems to be something behind that door. Let's go through it. Yes. Who's we got to see? Hold on. Before we, before you guys, well. Let me pull up your party sheet. I want to make sure that I'm giving you the experience points. Yes, or... please. Cliff, is that an incredibly small cat? I would say pretty average size. I don't know. Maybe, there, may be, there might be some optical illusion going on. I wasn't sure if I was seeing a perspective uh, weirdness or not. So the um, I just found out during a long rest, it awards your experience points too. Oh. Oh yeah, I think it popped, I think it popped in earlier. I yeah. saw some experience points somewhere. It it gave you experience for the entire uh, level. <laughs> so I don't know how that happens. So you gotta oh. fight everything, you guys. It's the rule. No. Um. <laughs> yeah. So, so fun facts. Looking at your experience, um, Mr. Bing, Karen. And Fabia are very close to leveling up. Leveling up. Um, Nick, Skylar, Noodle, and Little Zippy are not. Not as close. They're they're getting there, but not quite as close. I'm not sure why there's a discrepancy. Anywho, uh, maybe they played differently. Who knows? All right, so there you are. Um, so you're heading in to. So Karen, are you coming into that room? Why don't you guys drag, your, like, those of you who have not entered the room, drag yourselves where you want to be in the order you want to be in. And are you still frenzying, I think, for how long? Like, it's for minutes, right? Yeah, I think it's basically just, like, one combat, so... Okay, so then you're no longer frenzied? Yeah, you can unfrenzy me. And then the same with Rage? Yeah, if you want to, like... Yeah, I think so. Can you rest and, like, get rid of whatever exhaustion effects there are. Yeah, I'm not sure. How do you, how do you unexhaust yourself? Is it a long rest, or...? Uh, I gotta look. Um, I gotta look, but I don't even have you as exhausted. It's like, I think when oh. that combat ended, it was done? That can't be right. Oh. <coughs> Alright. Alright, well, I'll look oh, into that yeah. for the next time. Yeah, it did clear out of my effects. Cool. Yeah. Um, anyone else have effects applied to them that uh, they should not? Zippy's invisible. It has the normal, his normal ones. Noodle always has dwarven resistance, which means that she's resistant to poison, which is which is handy. And the rest of you are all good to go. All right. Cool. So. Move in where you want to be. I will approve your moves. And I'll, I may have to drag you around like some weird 
oddities. Skylar and Bing, you guys hanging back or are you gonna come with the rest of the party? And Bobby, are you staying where you are? Um, yeah. Okay. All right, so it's Bing- hard to fit everyone in there. Well, you managed. Yeah. So there you are. All right, can I, can I put my ear up to the door? You sure can. And roll a perception check. Big door. Yeah, you 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 already know there's there's some hobgoblins in there. Um, with a nine, that's all you know. All right. Anything else we want to do, or just uh, open it up? Yeah, let's do it then. Yeah, yeah. So. All right. So. You can describe to me, in only the way that Karen can describe to me, how you want to open this door. <laughs> I would like to uh, kick the door off the hinges, possibly damaging anybody behind it. I'll give you that. Um, I'm going to give you, I'm going to let you roll uh, a 20. All right, and um, if you can get greater than a 10, then we will apply bludgeoning damage, five points of bludgeoning damage to anyone who's in the pathway of the door. Fair? Just a strength roll? Yeah. There you go. So blip, bloop, door opens up. This door goes flying, is it open? This door goes flying open, and uh, this hobgoblin, what's his name? I gotta, the names aren't, oh, hurrah. So hobgoblin, hurrah, you know, immediately gets hit with this door. And I said five points of damage, right? Yeah. And it just, <laughs> it just flattens him out. So he's wow. thrown on the ground, and he's now also prone. All right. Oh. And that your momentum, Karen's going to take you into the room, just so you know. Yep. All right. So there you go. Uh, all right. It's clobbering time. Let's see. Do we need to initialize? <laughs> you, you, yeah, you're gonna. Yeah, you're gonna. You're gonna <laughs> You're going to do an initiative. But I thought I'd say, um, Karen, what you see is there's a there's, there's a stone brazier full of coals that glow in the middle of this small barracks. Four straw pallets lying along the east wall. Uh, the wall to the south is collapsed, but sort of a barren wooden door in that direction is still clear. And sort of a curtain hangs um, to the north. Uh, that door to the south um, has a sort of a big, uh, a big piece of wood sort of like locking it shut. All right. Now, I need you all to, anyone? Roll for initiative. Roll for initiative! Did mine show up? Um, it didn't. No. Did it now? Nope. Holy crap. Um, and little Zippy rolled a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> Little Ziffy proceeds, he should roll initiative. Oh, of course. It goes from a 9 to a 23. As, as Little Zippy would. So that makes Bobby a 23. What is the matter? It... So what's going on with you, Noodle? I have no idea. Um, so on your... On your... I can roll it for you if you want, but on your main screen, right, there's that dice under init. Yeah. If well, I, I have it on the, a hotkey, but... Um... Oh, I didn't, that's not what I meant to take, drag there. So here's your initiative for you. Oh, I just rolled a one. 
Uh, and also a seven. Either way, you lose. Um, <clears throat> so you're, you're, well, it's not bad. You're gonna do cleanup. All right, guys. So you've all rolled initiative. We're at the top of the stack. Oops, round one needs to go to here. Little Zippy or Fabia. Um, you guys aren't in the room. Um, only Karen's in the room. So what's your plan? And, and Karen, you know, you probably are sharing with them that like it's pretty tight quarters in there. What are these things? Anybody? Bob Goblin. Hobgoblin. Okay. <clears throat> I can only see the one hobgoblin, right? The one that she knocked over. Yeah. Yeah, the one that she hit with the door. Um, well, since it's small, I'll have Zippy go in there. And, and Zippy's invisible. Yes. All right, so you want Zippy to go move Zippy where you want him. So, okay, I'll move him, like, here. All right, so... I don't know why it moved an extra bit. Hold on, let me move it back. Ah, I hate that the default action when you drag is it moves the entire window that you're you're playing with. Yeah. <clears throat> right. So Zippy, but you know, sort of flies in and sees both the goblins. So I'm gonna go for the one that is not as hurt. <clears throat> All right. So do I need to move closer to him or no? No, you're catty corner, so you're good to go. Um, he will not be invisible anymore. I'm going to remove invisibility. Great. All right. And go ahead and roll your attack. Kill, little Zippy. Kill. Oh, no. Zippy missed. I'm sec secretly glowing, you guys. That Zippy never misses. I, <laughs> no, I know you're secretly glowing. <laughs> Moi. All right. Um, this brings us to Karen. Against a prone guy. Hold on, what's going on? Why did you miss? Yeah, and it rolled with disadvantage too. Or did it? Did it roll with advantage? Yeah. What the heck is going on? Hold on. Attack great X with advantage. It dropped four. I shouldn't have any modifiers going on, so I don't know why it rolled with advantage. That was weird. Uh, because it's prone. Oh, oh, okay. It already accounted for that. So, yeah. So and I literally missed a guy laying on the ground. Yeah, you, you missed him. Right, you like swung right over him. You know, th th you had a door to get through and all sorts of stuff that was like, you know, it's going to be hard to hard to hit. <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move to the side here to finish my turn. All right. All right. That brings us to Bing. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Well, at least you rolled initiative. All right, I got to put you back. <laughs> where, where are you now? Uh, I'm trying to edit these keys. Zippy, where's Zippy at? Zippy is, goes back to 20. You don't get to just keep moving Zippy down the, the thing and going over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bing comes into the doorway. Ish. Hey. I am... Targeting Mr. Hobgoblin here with Guiding Bolt. Sorry. Laura Mipsum, Dollar Sit, I bet. Ah. And you hit. Alright. From the dice. Never there. I'm doing my best with the ad hoc narrative, guys. All right. Very nice. Um, you still have some movement left if you want to use it. If not, pass. Yeah, I'm going to pull out of the way. Hi. Pulls against the curtain, which brings us to Huzzah. 
So huzzah is catty corner to little zippy. And one of the things that um, I think uh, Noodle you asked about was uh, combat rules, right? And there's a couple of things. One, um, what I did, I did some research and I should have known this earlier. Um, like Skylar in the last game wanted to shoot his arrow while adjacent to another character, right? And you can yeah. do that, but you do it with disadvantage because you're literally like on top of them, yeah. right? Um, it's point. It's not a handgun. It's a ranged weapon. Um, so you do that with disadvantage. <clears throat> the other thing is, if you look at um, a ranged weapon, there'll be two numbers, and we've been like, what is it? Why is there a range? Anything up to that first number is a normal, normal hit with normal roll. Anything beyond that number to the second number, you roll with disadvantage because it's a long, long shot, range, yeah. right? So it's a long shot. And the other thing is called shot. So called shot, you you roll with disadvantage, but you get a modifier on your damage if you hit. Right? Mm -hmm. So so I go for his head. It's going to be a disadvantage roll, but if you hit, you get additional damage on the called shot. Handy if you're fighting like a zombie, right? But you, you negotiate what you want to happen with the called shot before you before you roll. All right. So where, I did my these, where are the numbers? <coughs> for what? No, you even for the weapon? A, yeah. yeah, so like if I look at your character sheet and I look at crossbow and I open up that, right. I hit that little chain link and it says oh, it's, it's, range 80, yeah. 320. So you can, anything under 80 feet, no problem. Anything beyond, you can go all the way to 320 feet. It's a long way to shoot something. Yep. Right, yeah. but it's with disadvantage. There you go. Oh, okay. I did 600. So anyway, um, while you guys are all, you know, thinking about this, this hobgoblin brings this longsword down, up, down upon Zippy there. And of course he frickin' misses. <laughs> um, but he wants to position himself a little bit more effectively. He's just gonna take, like, a step forward like that. And then end his turn. And again, you know, things you know about hobgoblins just to remind you that they fight to the death, unlike a goblin. No problem. That's all right. Yeah, he'll die soon anyway. Says you. <laughs> all right, Mr. Maylock. Morgan's like, I, I, I volunteered to sub tonight, and the first chance I get to do anything is right now. What do I do? All the pressure is on. Well, I know, I know that uh, Nick can't take too many hits, so I don't want to like go right up next to the door and draw its attention. But if I don't get closer, <laughs> I can't actually do anything. But I can I'll, heal though. But it, it, I think too, you know, you guys play Nick the way you want. Nick always finds a way to be in melee combat. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, he I, dies like every I, other game. <laughs> and you can, you can, uh, you can heal me, uh, but I think you underestimate how much health uh, there actually is here. We don't at this point. Yeah. yeah. So just for like some context, Karen has like fifty hit points. Nick has sixteen. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He's paper. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. It'll be dead. Yeah. J just. Just wait. Yeah, I... or, or you can ready yourself if something comes out the door or comes into the doorway. That's the other yeah, thing. I'll, that Nick I'll, might I'll ready myself because that's I think about all I got without trying to do melee combat. All right. So you are readied. All right, and then just pass the turn. Yep. That brings us to Mister Skylar. Ha. Ah. Wait a minute. Yeah. Now, do you play Skylar as you would a fighter, or do you play Skylar as you would Skylar? Would Skylar rush the room? Or oh, would yes. Skylar think it through? Skylar always rushes the room. True. I'll be right he's, back. he's your Leroy Jenkins, for sure. Yep. Okay. He's in. But actually, could I have been back one and still got <laughs> a swing at the Hobgoblin or no? Um, only if you wanted to do with um, half cover. Yeah. No, let's just do that. 5, okay. 10, 15, 20. But you could move back out of the room without losing opportunity if you just move back one after you hit. No, that's what you're asking. Just, uh... All right, great sword time. Great sword. 
classic Skylar. Well, crap. So yeah, that thing, he comes bursting into the room to do some serious damage. Maybe he's distracted by the door on top of a bunch of bloodied limbs. Um, who knows? But anyway, he's distracted and misses. Okay. Uh, so I've got five. Uh, yeah, five. Yeah, you have five left. And I'm you're just still back out so Karen can get a shot. All right. So make sure, aim I'm your st character. still with. Yeah. Sorry. I'll just keep reminding you guys for that for a little while, but then that becomes important later. All right, Karen. You are now free to roam about the cabin when it's your turn. All right, Noodle. I think I'm kind of out of the loop, so I guess I'll just ready myself, because... Unless you want to explore to the north. Didn't we say nothing was in there? Nothing was no, immediately in the No, when you say that, it's, it's almost like... You can Help see that there's nothing in there. I'm just, I'm just saying there's other things you can do. You never, I mean, what harm ever happened to someone wandering around the castle by themselves? I don't want to believe you right now. <laughs> All right. All right, I so you're just going to ready yourself if someone comes around the corner? I guess, but I should probably face sideways. All right. And then end your turn when you're done. Oh. All right, everyone, roll for initiative. <clears throat> oh, that was out of control. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I think that's everybody, right? Okay, so where's Fabia, Zippy? So that would be nine. So Zippy and Fabia are nine. Everyone's rolled. I'm going to start the round. You guys can scheme on what you want to do. I don't know if there's much scheming need to be done. When you're ready, um, Skylar's up first. Lobber. So Skylar so, bops back in the room. So can I try to like make my way around this guy and, and still get my attack? Or Yeah. Um, okay. As long as you stay within within the hammering distance of him, he doesn't get an opportunity. Okay. So you sort of, you just sort of push, push through and around, you know, he's a bit distracted, but you're now aimed at his back. Um, and to be fair, he would spin as he's yeah. flipping flip around. Um, yeah, probably I, not I, at I, you completely because he'd be splitting the distance between you and yeah, I, I don't see this as a, a backstab, but just a an honest way to get a good, clean shot. All right, let's see what happens. In these troubled times of ours. Probably not with the fire. <laughs> so, so the Skylar's luck continues to, to, to be burdensome. Um, and again, Huzzah is, you know, watched you make your way around, so... Boom, long sword on the Skylar. <laughs> Jesus, misses. What is Skylar's armor? <laughs> what did, oh, he has a 16. Oh, so oh, close. Okay. Um, awesome. So, yeah, that's it. Like, he's not moving. He's holding his own. He'll get Skylar in the next round. Mr. Bing. I. <sighs> All right, I guess I'm just going to head in in case anybody needs healing. So that will give them an opportunity attack as you fly past him. Oh, wait, that guy. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, uh, actually, I'm just going to sit outside. All right. <coughs> Are you readied for anything or just sit there? Just hanging out. All right. Good enough. This brings us to Zippy then. All right, Zippy. Do I'm your gonna worst. Gonna try and attack that guy again. I'm not afraid of no gnat. <laughs> Nothing. Damn it. So 
so yeah. This, this goblin's, you know, starting to question sort of the uh, <laughs> the mojo of his, of his partner who got decimated by a door, right? Whereas you guys come in here like fumbling every one of your, <laughs> every one of your hits. So. Can I pick up the, yeah, can we attack with the door again? <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like the Benny Hill show. All right, Nick, Nick is up. All right, I'm, I'm still going to like just ready up, but I may get a little closer to the door just in case it goes in front of it. All right. So probably about there. Approved. All right, and then ready up. All right, you are readied. All right, Karen. Approved. I don't know why it does this thing where it like almost moves all the way and then like pauses for an uncomfortable amount of time and moves the rest of the way. <clears throat> but alas, this comes up and thwacks this thing doing seven points of damage, which uh, isn't too bad considering you only rolled a two. Miss Noodle. Still yeah, I've been ready. thinking about this. Uh-huh. <laughs> but. Yeah. Um. I am gonna go north. Okay. Move on in. Because if I already, there's absolutely, I mean, because we gotta do something. So I'm gonna go in to the room just slightly. All right. You see a door off to your to the east, and you see a curtain, okay. a curtain um, to the north, and just passively you see a, like daylight creeping under it and sort of wind blowing it. So like this is very clearly a curtain that leads to the outside. <clears throat> and, okay. um, fun fact, you got within 15 feet of that curtain and you turned Zippy around. I did what? When you guys were, were exploring the outside of this castle, you, you got within 15 feet of that curtain and then turned around. Oh. Okay. Uh, does that end my turn or can I move? No, you can still move. You only move five feet. You can move up okay, to 25. Okay, I'm going to go to the door and do a perception check. Maybe I can actually hear something. All right, this roll your turn. perception, and let's move this around. Did you move me around? I, I, I spun you. All right, so roll your perception. Okay, I did. I did. Oh, you know what? It's because... Okay, now I know why. Did that work? No. You, you know, I mean, it worked. No, I'm sorry, it worked, but it, it's no good. Like, you got a seven. Oh, <clears throat> I hear yeah. nothing. Yeah, you, oh, you didn't okay. You didn't hear anything at all, right? Um, but you are welcome to open the door if you want. That's, uh... <laughs> maybe next time. <laughs> all right, roll your initiative. We're blazing through this. I have rolled the initiative of the Hobgoblin. Is that everybody? Uh, we're missing Zippy. Bobby, there we go. All righty then. Starting the next round. I'm happy to allow you to scheme, although I assume that you're just going to proceed with your existing plans. When you're ready to start, tell me, and up first is Hobgoblin Huzzah. You guys okay for me to start? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. Yep. All right, he's really going after Skylar. And connects. Ow. Oh. So it does some light damage. Hold on one second, I gotta look one thing up. Yeah, you ruined this for him. So, you killed his friend, so he does not get martial advantage of being able to go again. <clears throat> Way to go, Karen. Alright, that's the end of his turn. Speaking of which, Karen, you're up. Jesus. Yeah, so you, you bring your great axe down on this thing's head, and you just see bits of it collapse, like 
critical condition, not long for the world. Skylar. All right, Skylar is enraged by getting cut. And, and through his head he hears, you're the best around. And then you hear it sort of like needle drops and skids off of the record and doesn't get to hear that song. <laughs> so, alas. All right. I guess you're wondering how I got in this position. <laughs> yeah, you, you pushed your way around. That's how you got in that position. All right. Um, is that the end of his turn? All right, Nick. Yes. All right. So uh, I'm trying to remember the the way south. You said there was that we found out there was nothing in there, or did no one go in there? Um, the the door is open. No one explored down farther. I was thinking of doing that since I'm not good uh, up close. All right, go for it. Move to where you want to be. I'm just gonna step in. Well, I'm gonna turn, but I was gonna step in. And this, yeah, what you see is the same thing you saw, which is it's there's there's nothing there other than <coughs> a door to the west and then a door that sort of heads down to the south. You still have 25 feet to move. Well, we'll for the door. I'll hit here and just kind of be ready in case something will let the fight keep going. That's 10? Yeah, now you, you, see, the, you see the door to your south. Um, and it's open, yeah. and it sort of you see it sort of terminates and then heads down to the west with some stairs, right? And you feel a nice cool breeze coming through from the outside. You hear the chirping of birds. Okay, so that that sounds like it comes. From, okay, I'll ready, I'll ready this and then let the fight fight anything. It's the bird room. Indeed. All right, noodle. Can I stealth open the door? Stealthily? Um, yeah. And peek in? Do I have to roll anything or just... If you're, if you're being, if you're just telling me you're being careful, uh... Yeah. Uh, if you can, you can sort of crack the door open and these are old doors. Let me look at, hold on, skills. Just roll a stealth check, um, but you only have to beat a five just to see that this thing doesn't make, like, a clattering of noises and creaking. So anything greater than okay. a five, and it has stealthily been opened. Wait, why did two dice go? Um, <laughs> because you have armor on. Oh, shit. So, well. yeah. But that's okay. It didn't really matter. Um, you, uh, you have a stealth penalty, but yeah, you got a two. So you tried to get this door and this door just like falls off its hinge. <laughs> and it's like, you guys hear clatter, like through the door. I mean, you know, just sort of echo, right? Um, My bad. <laughs> and you know you you're you're very still. Let me roll something real quick for myself. You don't have to. Oh, I did in my tower. Um, and you're you're like deadly still, just hoping that you don't hear anything scurry. And you don't. Uh, you oh. don't. So it, so you see to the to the east you see a door, and to the south you see another curtain. And your mental math, sort of sort of assume that that sort of connects to the room that your friends are in, that curtain? Yeah. You don't know what's to the east. I'm going to go in a little bit. I eat the book. Oh. Sorry. All what? Day. Should I not? I'm no, doing I'm it. <laughs> well, no one can tell you huh? what to do because they can't see you or talk to you. No, you're, you're fine. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stop. All right. So why don't you roll your perception then? Oh, you're done. Never mind. You're, you're, yeah, you're I d- I'm just going to wait. Get into. Right. Let's kill that guy. <clears throat> All right. Um, up next is either Fabia or Little Zippy. Little Zippy. All right. So advance to Zip Zipster. Do your worst, mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> And again, uh, no damage was done by the zipster. Please. 
<coughs> Fabio, you're starting to question his val his sort of value at this point. Like, you know, he needs to carry his own weight. Excuse me. But Cyrus isn't going to do anything. I noticed that. All right, roll your initiatives, guys. That's everybody, right? And Zippy stacks up with Fabia. They already are, so we give this one an 11. And we start the round up first. Delighted to say is Hobgoblin Huzzah. Longsword again comes down upon Skylar and connects again. And you see just the side of sort of Skylar's head just starts to collapse in on itself. Right? Um, he's you know, dazed and confused. Mr. Nick. All right, I I'll head toward the door and, and look around. All right, go for it. All right. All right. So to you, to the as you walked down there to the west, you saw a door. Mm -hmm. Um, that was open. I think. There it is. Yeah, and as you walked by it, you saw it looked like a dining room. And from the, earlier in the campaign, you saw the other side of that dining room at some point. Right when you were fighting, that you probably weren't playing with us at that point. <laughs> but um, oh yeah, right. It's a it's that sort of the dining area for all yeah. the soldiers. Okay. Oh. Yeah. All right. And you still have like twenty feet of movement left if you want. All right. Uh, I can take a look at what's out here. All right. All right. Do I do I like. Roll uh, you want, to stealthily open it, or just to make sure well, that there's, there's nothing there, out there. There's, there, it's already open, so you can just move. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you see outside. What looks like um, this is this is clearly sort of the south entrance to the castle. Oh, okay. I'll just I'll just be ready and, and hold here though. Okay. You never know what wounded goblin might come around. Yeah. All right, Karen. Oh boy. And that's it. So Kieran, Kieran smashes the hobgoblin. Um, now you guys remember that you've, you've been looking for King Grohl, right? Like, you know, King Grohl's in here somewhere. You know that um, rock seeker is being held captive here. There's a map someplace. You've explored a good portion of this castle. So down to the south, you see that door with a big piece of wood over it. And to the north um, is a curtain. Except for me. Well, you know there's a curtain there too, Noodle, but they don't know that you know that there's a curtain. And they don't know that you know there's a curtain. But there's a curtain. All right. No, so we're out you? of battle. You're out of battle. I'm going to do a perception check against this door. I. All right, I'm gonna roll. All right, do we want to give a Skylar a band-aid too? Yeah, I can heal. All righty. So you gingerly, <clears throat> learning your lesson from the previous door, place your ear against the door, and you hear um, some muttering. Um, okay. With the 15, you can't quite make out what they're saying, but it seems to be, um, let me see. One second, I gotta scroll to the top. Yeah, so it, it seems to be like, um, like it's a disagreement or an argument. You can't really make out the words, <clears throat> um, but you know there's at least two people there. All right. So I'm gonna, I've already gone five. 
So you can move half your distance without having to roll stealth. So that means you can move ten more without rolling stealth. Okay, so I came through the curtain, right? Isn't that coming through <coughs> the curtain right there? Yep. Yep. I gotta open it though. So you pop open the curtain, and you're like befuddled at this mushed hobgoblin, you know, with a door on yeah. top of it. Um, and, and then I kind of let them know there's a, what's going on up there, you know, that there's like some. Some, Sounds like large argument, but I, I don't know because I can't hear it quite well. Well, some debate. And, yeah, like it wasn't necessarily a, a heated argument. It was just sort of some some debate. You couldn't really make it up. Yeah. And hey, do you want some healing? Kind of a thing. But I would I have to wait till next right? I write oh because I've oh not I'm not in the room anymore. So does stealth count? Yeah, you used it up to to, to get there. That's all right. All right, so. And um, yeah, you either. But although does Skylar have a healing potion? What does Skylar have? Because you know, you, you may not want to burn like burn up a heal spell on a if he can do an yeah, out of combat heal. Is it? Things have moved. Um, Are the potions all just in inventory, or is there something from actions? Um, I think there's actions. Way down at the bottom, way, uh, the very bottom was where my potion of healing is. Yeah, and you have to, oh. so th they expand and collapse? Yeah. I don't think he has one, but I can give him one, I think. Let me see, Skylar. You can also just heal him with a potion if you want. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll do that when my turn comes. All right. And normally I would let you guys just freely not do things in turn, but um, we can, I just want you guys to move one at a time. So you don't have to stick to the order of the combat tracker. <coughs> um, all right. So um, can Skylar roll a perception check? Sure. That doesn't sound good. All right, so um, there's that door to the south of Skylar, and um, it seems to be locked from his side. And he hears something breathing, but doesn't know what it is. It could be Rock Seeker, it could be a vampire. Who the hell knows, right? Like, so there's something, you know, there's something being locked in that room. That's all I'll give you for sixteen. Skylar tells the rest of the group. All right. Okay, and at this so point, I'm... if you want to heal him, go ahead and do whatever you want to do. Okay, so can I move my character? I don't know. Can you? And then... All right, smartass. Well, um... clearly you can't. You got stuck on a wall. So there you go. So can I just drag that potion of healing onto Skylar? Yep. Right. So he got almost completely Seven. healed up. Not bad. And you, you left him just hurt enough to remind him that he shouldn't just rush the room. You're like, Skylar, this is a lesson. <laughs> All right. So does that automatically take away, like, deplete my potions? I think okay. it should. Okay, cool. All right. All right. So we got Fabia out in the hall. We've got um, Nick Maylock down south. We got everyone else in that room. Nick does not know what's going on with the rest of the team. Um, Fabia, you can see people scurrying about, but you don't really know what's going on either. So. Do either of you want to do anything before we go back to the rest of the group? Are you going to continue no. your journey outside, Nick, or no? Uh, not right now. I'll just keep an eye out. All right, so you're hanging tight. Yeah. All right, Fabia, what about you? Um, I'll just go towards them to see what's happening. All right, go ahead and move. There we go. All right, party people. Most of you are clustered up. Um, Nick, you cannot weigh in on anything that anyone talks about. Just so you know, and everyone, you cannot weigh on what Nick does. 
because you guys are in different parts of the castle. What are you guys going to do? Sounds good. No Noodle filled us in on what she heard, right? Noodle, did you fill him in? I told You're him muted. what was going on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She said that she heard that she heard that um, some, some sort of a disagreement. Yeah. All right, so we've got two doors. We've heard something outside of one. And, and I think we heard something from the bottom one, too, mumbling or yeah, breathing. Yeah, like a little, little bit, some breathing. And we yes. don't know if it's not a vampire or something. <laughs> yeah, that was just joking. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's something that, well, actually, I don't know. Do vampires breathe? I guess they do. Maybe. That was a bad example. I don't something. know. I don't know if they need to. So there's something, there's something alive to the south, but not necessarily moving around a bunch. And there's two, at least two people to have a disagreement, right? Unless you're crazy, in which case I guess you can mutter to yourself. Um, to the north. And agenda items is Rock Seeker. We already got Sildar's armor. Um, Way the Echo Cave map. Um, shit, I think that's about it. Oh, like whatever you want to do about King Grohl. He's a tyrant. He's a he's a horrible, horrible ruler. As you heard from um, the druid. That's politics. I don't. <laughs> don't get involved in that. <laughs> That's right. Bing just does his wordle and keeps to his own. <laughs> so, I'm thinking that we. I mean. If we go south, if we go to the door that's locked, we're going to make noise trying to open it, right? So that we should have people ready for what may come out of the door that I heard the mumbling. So, yeah, you know we, what I mean? We want to just deal with those people first. That's the more known quantity, it seems like. I mean, yeah. yeah, there's more there, but if, if we go in, would we get... Surprise! You know, would we have the element of surprise because of well? No one's thinking about a vampire on that one. So, um, why don't you guys roll a roll an investigation check? Let's 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 speed up the, the knowledge. Investigation, not perception, but investigation. Yikes! Holy Terrible. smokes, those are horrible. Wow. <laughs> those are just bad. I just hurt myself investigating. <laughs> <laughs> I see why you don't want to see the rolls. Here you go. Zippy did well. well. Little Zippy's the smart one here. Yeah, your mosquito <laughs> is smarter than the rest of you. Um, and, yeah, and then and Nick, of course, can't roll. Um, so, so Zippy, you know, you guys are doing some investigating. Um, each corner of of this castle has contained some sort of like a, a, a big, like a barracks or guard tower or whatever else, you know, the way this castle is set up, it's probably the same, you know, four corners. Uh, you've decimated two of the four. Um, to the north is another, and to the south is yet another. Um, they're clearly keeping someone or something in this room, is what um, is what Zippy sort of surmises. So, the question Zippy proffers to you is, you know, sort of based on this understanding, do we think that we'll find Rock Seeker to the south with the map locked in that room? Or some unknown entity? Versus mm -hmm. is Rock Seeker to the north uh, with the people that are arguing? Or is he one of the people arguing? Right. So that's your investigation. I'm down for e any of it. Yeah, I mean, I guess it depends on if, if we're, we want to, like, you know, try to spring Rockseeker silently or or somewhat stealthily, or do we just take care of any resistance up to the north? First. So, do we so ever do Cyrus... anything silently? <laughs> right. Well, well, clearly Noodle does not. <laughs> um, but Cyrus, you know, Cyrus... Yeah, I you know, could... You... I could cast a little spell of silence. Uh, yeah, there is that. Oh, we um, could do that. Show, should we just do that? Oh, no. It's <laughs> cold. And that's 120, right? 
120. 120 feet radius, is that right? Oh, yeah. Check this out. No, 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 no. That's the distance. Um, Diameter? The range. The, range, the uh, here, hold up. Do, 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 do. Uh, silence. 20 foot radius. So right. radius, so not diameter, but radius. Yes. And from where? I'm going to cast it on that door. The door to the south? Yep. All right, so I'm going to do something weird just to give me... Um, I'm going to move you to the door just temporarily so I can do this. Uh-huh. Uh, you said it's 20 foot? Yep. 20 foot radius. Look, nice surf up. A ring. A is ring that, around you. That might be a little too big. It is a little. It's 20 feet radius. Oh, you, oh, you may want to move it down just south oh. a little bit. Wait, does it move with you? God damn it. Okay, let me remove it from you. My bad. Uh, but I like it. Yeah, so hold on one second. It's, it's nifty. It's an effect. So let me, hold on. Uh, two, two shakes of a lamb's tail, as they say. Ah. Scheme while I do this. Scheme. Um, yes. who, how are yeah. we knocking that door down? Oh, we, we can't. We got some strong people. Right. It's, it's locked from this side though, right? Can we just, um, oh, I Oh, I thought it was left to the outside. If we could just lift up the wood. I think so. We'll have to ask Tom, but, uh, yeesh. All right, hold on. I don't know if oh, we're on. at time, by the way. Yeah, I was noticing that too. All right, so if I go there, I apply this thing, and then I say aura. Ooh. Give you a nice what spell token. Slip? And he said 20 feet, right? Yes. Let's do that thing. Oh, hold on. Try it again. 20 feet. To that. It does not work. All right. So oh, I'll, that's... I'll, I'll work on that for next round. All right. The white thing was cool, though. Okay. It will be. I just have to figure out how to apply it to a non-person. Right? Because it's, it's set up so, like, you know, around me, 30 feet. But it should be able yeah. to set up to, like... But I cast it over there. All right. All right. So when we play next, this is my cheat for myself so I can watch the end of the video and know what the hell we did. So you guys have made your way through this castle. We have Nick Maylock sort of standing guard, getting some fresh air, looking out into the, uh, you know, the southern part of the, of the castle down there. The rest of you are up in this, uh, this a gun, a hobgoblin barracks. To the south is a door with a piece of like a two by four across it, sort of locking something in. Oh. Um, to the north, through the curtain, is another door where there seems to be a couple of individuals having a disagreement about something. Um, you are mostly healed. Skylar is a little hurt. Um, but other than that, I think we're good to go. Did I miss anything? Yeah. And I, I need to lay so. down. I need to lay down a 20-foot radius centered on that door. A circle. All righty. Cool. All right, you guys. All right. Well, Thanks, if you everyone. Think about whether you want to see rolls or not, and um, I can turn those off the next time we play. Just let me know in advance. We'll talk about it over over to Chitty Chat. Oh, cool. Okay. All right, all right, guys. Right. See you guys. Later, all. Thanks. Cheers. Good night. night. Good night.